when this happened because mm. remember i'm the one that's i wasn't just rapping i was outside before i started <laughs> me a why for this though but come around the touch just, a, just a, what yeah i said why just can't like move around a little bit just because yeah, I said why yeah just because he's moving i don't want him to go out of the camera and that too far yeah, yeah. So, i was i was i was yeah go on. just want him in a better position yeah. oh f- off bro Tana and it tit job bro Bana. So, yeah I mean that is a se- I mean, you're becoming I mean, that's essentially what you so said you're, be- but, I mean, okay. you're becoming you're becoming like hood, you're hood famous <laughs> let's call it hood famous yeah, yeah, that makes 100%. sense yeah. yeah hood famous you, you I take that yeah, mad. No, no, no. yeah I sure. take that yeah sure. yeah but see when people say bro you're fa-. no I'm a hood celebrity yeah yeah yeah, yeah. hood star I'm not famous like all these mm. mainstream dons even though some man carry on like that but yeah I don't, I don't look at myself yeah it's a like person that. some people are individually yeah. they, they can't help themselves they get that hollywood curse mm. that's just a matter of, that's um in a sense i don't know where i don't know how you see that yeah but that is really a matter of timing because <clears throat> put it this way <clears throat> the run that you were on at the time when other people weren't really hitting uh, upper six, seven figures on views. If we go back to that time, just briefly, right? <clears throat> Somebody Love who came out today, who, if someone came out today mm. on that type of run now, yeah. and was significantly outperforming everybody now, mm-hmm. ha- as how he was then, yeah. today, that type of run would pretty much put you in celebrity air now. Yeah, yeah, definitely, yeah, 100%. So that's really timing. Yeah. Oh, so you're talking about you're talking about timing as in like the era that he came from, yeah, rather like, than yeah. time. Like a, okay, I thought you were talking about like acting Hollywood. No, like no, no, the no. timing would make him. Act no, no, no. Hollywood. I'm saying the fact that I'm saying the fact that the fact that we would say hood celeb, yeah, fair play, yeah. But yeah, the I'm rap scene he was in then ain't the rap scene that we have now. Yeah. So if he'd come in to the and en- entered but the now. scene now, <laughs> he'd have entered the Third scene strike. now and had. Allow me and had the same <laughs> run then now see who yeah, he'd be yeah, yeah, now yeah that'd be a celebrity yeah yeah, yeah i get you no facts so to, to close it's the, only because the, the social media is different now yeah mm-hmm. internet's played a major part back bro. in the day it was only just really and truly youtube just forwarded because youtube was only really to put your link on myspace at one point that's what it was so you, you yeah, put a, on. a video and, and, on youtube and, and then times they still definitely as far as i remember mm-hmm. man was definitely still seeing the whole idea of a label as almost you made it in yeah yeah like, and, yeah, and yeah. essentially like that's what's gonna help me get to the next next level and yeah that. yeah whereas a john whereas obviously johnny guns is still here now but yeah. i'm just saying like a new johnny guns who replicated what the original johnny guns did they wouldn't even now they wouldn't need the label now nah, just go crazy whereas do you get me yeah. there was a there was a period i reckon i don't know what a and r missed the like missed they didn't business, get it, bro. But when they it must it, be bro. that, they didn't get it. because at the end of the day, I'm hundred percent sure. He's yeah. saying you should have been signed. Like, I don't really understand uh, it bro, because I know, I saying. know that YouTube. I know that at some point, yeah, people have Mostly been signed. I've been getting YouTube. blocked for years. Let's talk about let's it. Let's talk about it. What's man on? All right, so because so I'm better than half of these man. So why am I not where all about money? It all boils down to money. Yeah. So what's man on, bro? Listen. Oh, people on, sign bro. people they don't even believe in. What's going on? Money. What they <laughs> oh, wow. I oh, we're here now. Yeah. We're here now. We're here now. Yeah. Okay, we're here now. You know who your friends are. We're here now. Yeah, you know who your real friends are. Beat a corn for that. So yeah. we have to make They're it make like, sense. About. <laughs> so Let's make it make sense. So, what, talk. so yeah, man. Let him so talk. Let him talk. Man, he wants to talk. No, so, no, no. Go on, go on. So I wanted to know, Raw, did you ever, were you ever contacted by any of the labels? Broski, I've sat down with all of them. All right. And were any offers ever made? Offers were always made. Okay, <laughs> so please help me and the audience help me understand that cool? where See, at the, time, yeah? the sabotage <laughs> I said this. I said play. this in the Tate Risk interview, yeah? Right. There was a period of time. We ain't taking no risks today. The only bro. people. Now, I'm it's always all, taking risks. It's all or nothing today. Now, I'm always taking risks. I have to. Yeah, let's go. That's just the way I live, but hmm? cool. Now, let's go. Period of time. There was a period of time when mm. the only people that these labels wanted was myself mm. coke and many banks okay. we were the only people they wanted this. not no other names mm-hmm. them names MG. yeah so when man's going to these meetings now mm-hmm. i i already know that these people have been poisoned because there's certain things they're bringing up in in the meetings that like you shouldn't be bringing up in meetings with me oh that ain't nothing to do with it's music not, it's not me i was about to say they're music. saying some stuff yes mm. street things and mm. i'm thinking bro that that's not what i'm here for and mm. you're a label like, staying on bro shut up man. remember because there was a period of time when i'm doing music i'm not doing music to like 
become all mainstream and all that. I'm just yeah. doing music. Doing your thing. I'm cold at doing what I'm doing out of the mandem mm -hmm. and everyone rocks with what I'm doing. Mm -hmm. Then it's only when I started getting into management and stuff, mm -hmm. when I started clocking around, boom, I'm getting paid. Mm -hmm. People that are signed artists are paying me mm -hmm. racks to make features and then these songs ain't coming out. I don't care. Oh. <laughs> I got paid. Mm -hmm. You feel me? So wow. all of that's going on. Mm -hmm. You feel me? Remember, like certain big names was my managers, you know? Mm -hmm. Who was it? Austin was oh, my manager at a stage. Spotify. Austin. Yes. Okay. Big up Austin. Yeah, I did a lot yeah. for man. Yeah. You feel me? But at a stage, he was behind the scenes helping when Q was managing me from Kettle Superstar. Q Dizzy. Yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Very serious man. Yeah. Very serious individual. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Angolan, you. He's not Angolan. He's not Angolan. It's Congolese. Yes. Yeah. Mm. He gets it. He knows what I'm talking about. He might speak French. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Was, speaking of Kettle Superstars, was Stormzy around Kettle Superstars when you were yes. around him? I knew this was going to come up. Yes, yeah, it was. It had to. Yes. But I'll be real, obviously, to. when I first forwarded over there, people that was there, Paige, Stormzy, mm -hmm. Young Reeks. Yes, Reeks. Um, who else was there? Gigi, she was a female artist. Quite a lot of the people that was from Stormzy's block, I can't remember their names, though. <laughs> But there was a whole leap of man in Ghetto mm. Superstars and female artists at the same time. Face Squeeze. Was people Face like Squeeze, Hooligan yeah. a part of that? Vex, Hooligan. Hooligan. Back as well. Bully, Bully, all of Bully. these yeah, men. They were all involved in it. But as the I Kraden said. Boys, isn't it? This is what happened. As I said, remember, I'm not just a rapper though, innit? Mm. So when I'm forwarding around to these. Remember, this ain't my block. Now I'm having yeah. to forward up here. Fulton Heath and Craden <laughs> and be around all these men. Really I'm not just a rapper. I'm coming up here. I'm, I don't know you, man. Yeah, 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 yet. Yeah, yeah. So I gotta be carried on a certain way because you man are your people up here. Yeah, I ain't got no people up here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah <laughs> you get yeah, some. Yeah, you yeah. get some bad rap, you know. I'm telling man. You get some bad Why? rap, you know. Cause deep, I'm not really deep nah, it. deep it, bro. You're you're doing the street thing. That's one thing. Yeah, cool. Your artist, you're, you're getting into the music thing, and you're good, mm -hmm. and you can see it's got potential. It's taking you places, yeah. right? But because you're so tied in with the street thing as well. Mm. Yeah, I've it, always said that though. Yeah, it does matter mm. where you're from. It does. It is relevant who mm -hmm. you're with, who you move around with, mm -hmm. because you are in the street. These things are relevant, yeah? But you've got the rap thing, which is separate. It's mm. a career path. Yeah. But then what happens is, yeah, because the street thing, it matters so much who you with, where you are, if my man from Croydon Heathside has said, yeah, I want to manage you, that's a mm. business agreement. Yeah? Oh, yeah, yeah. So I've come over to come to Bucky now yeah. to talk this music career thing. Yeah. But that now places me up there around these people. Yeah. So then the type of nigga that will be like this nigga here, you know, just bouncing from. It's like, bro, if my yeah. man was not based in Croydon, man could have been based in Shoreditch. Now yeah. I'd be in Shoreditch with yeah. my manager. What's my gonna say? Yeah. Bro, it's the same thing with Manomi. Manomi. Remember, so I understand. Manomi. I understand. Yeah, there's, man in, thing in that. there's man in that yeah. crew that was from. Edward Woods. Yeah, and, yeah, yeah. But he was smart. Yeah, that ready he's, he's telling certain you scream an army. They're not hmm. even an army like that. They're just in some awkward land screaming mm. an army, getting name at. The country there. <laughs> there was certain man that was official an army members. And then there was man that, yeah, they were this, yeah? Throwaways. You get the thing, like, come on, bro. 100%. Yeah, but it's real, though. That's what it was. So, all right. That's it. Now, nah, that, that's it. I think you just. You I took, sorry. Yeah, that's, that's interesting, though, because. Uh, we need, I just want to put the time. It's like with yeah. I was gonna say, it's like when you see like when. No, no, wait. I've remembered. Oh, I, 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 I have you, to land. Got I have you, to Because we're missing. We're gonna miss a gem here, right? Who's these youths you got tunes with that never come out with? <laughs> <laughs> There's a lot.